Welcome to Agoracom, the small cap epicenter on Agoracom TV, a daily fast pace, edgy show, bringing the best press release on the small cap space every morning at the open so you can hopefully profit from them, maybe find your next great small cap investments Friday, July the 22nd. Again, I've said this all week. Uh, it seems like it should be a slow period, but big news continues to come out. The biggest news so far is the uh, is another deal with the, with the Greek government with the, to help out the Greeks and their sovereign debt issues. That's led to a lot of green across the board everywhere, and that's actually good for markets. All we need now is to get the U.S. together, uh, the Republicans and Democrats to agree on a debt ceiling deal, and I think we're going to see a skyrocketing market going right into the fall and winter. In the meantime, I've got three great presses for you. I'm glad to tell you I've got China, uh, two stories out of there, then I'm going to go on Canadian resources. First up, China Energy Corp, CHGY, announced it put out their financial results for the second quarter, uh, 2011, that's ending May 31st. There's a producer and trader of coal for domestic heating, uh, electrical generation, and also supplier of heating and electric energy services in Inner Mongolia. Uh, Second quarter highlights, revenue 32.2 mil up 57.1%. Net income 3.8 million or 8 cents per share. That compares to 4.4 million or 10 cents per share. So they are slightly down. Nonetheless, we have something to say about that with respect to valuation. For, for the six month period, revenue 54.5 million. That's a 32% increase. Net income 8.2 million or 18 cents per share uh, compares to 8.4 million or 19 cents per share last year, so slightly down. But let's talk about 18 cents per share, what they've done in six months. Let's assume they extrapolate that over the next uh, six months and they equal that. That's 36 cents per share. The companies right now is trading at 51 cents. You're getting a company trading potentially one and a half times earnings. Even if they don't earn another penny and they just stick with this 18 cents for 18 cents for the entire year, you're still getting a company trading under three times uh, earnings. The incredible valuation, 220 on the 52 week high, 36 cents on the low. Uh, as of this morning, China Energy is up with just one penny, 1.96 percent. But we did just start trading. I love these valuations. Once we can figure out these reverse merger issues, uh, I get the feeling that we're going to have some fantastic, uh, uh, some fantastic gains on the Chinese side. Uh, China Automotive Systems put their Q1 numbers, trades on the stock symbol CAAS, uh, revenue up 8.1% to $91 million, net income $17.2 million, uh, earnings per share $0.23. Cents. That compares to a loss of $4.1 million and $0.15 cents per share for the same quarter last year. That's a huge move on the bottom line. Uh, good top line growth for an automotive company, 8.1%, but huge move on the bottom line. Uh, they closed yesterday at $8.21, cents, 52 week range, 2070, 630 is the low. Uh, this morning they're up 3.17%. Uh, Market likes the news so far. And just based on that 23 cents per share uh, number for the quarter, if they can continue that for the entire year, I'm doing my extrapolation model. You're talking about a company that's essentially going to earn a dollar. Uh, per share, and they're trading at eight dollars and twenty-one cents. So, you know, eight times earnings—not a super uh, baby with the bathwater kind of deal that I'm looking for, but still, uh, good valuation. Uh, probably a lot lower beta there because uh, there wouldn't be as much volatility you would think with an automotive company. And finally, Crescent Gold trades on the TSX under CRA for our friends in Australia, CRE, and for our friends in Frankfurt, CZA. Uh, they put out an operations update, uh, including improving gold production specifically. Uh, they say that they, uh, uh, their operation resulted in 23,870 ounces of uh, gold being produced. That's 8.5% above their guidance of 22,000 uh, 22, ounces for the June 2011 quarter. Uh, some other highlights. Uh, that number is up 28% and 59% compared to their two earlier campaigns. So it looks like they don't have steady uh, uh, progress yet, but they're just uh, uh, they're going through some production campaigns. Guidance for their next uh, campaign of gold production is, again, 22,000 ounces. So it looks like they're keeping it the same as the previous one, but they beat the previous one. Uh, so it looks, like, uh, it looks like they're ahead of schedule. Do the math. Gold now trading at $1,600. I don't got to tell you, do the math. Go take a look at the press release, find out their cost and so on and so forth. But uh, the company closed, and I'm trying to figure this out, closed just six cents yesterday. The 52 trading range is 20 on the high, three on the low. As of this morning, six and a half, up 8.3% on low volume. Uh, there's something more to the story there that almost doesn't seem right. Uh, Mark Cap's only 35 million. It sounds like they have a billion shares outstanding or something like that. Uh, so go take a look and find out uh, what the situation there. Otherwise, 
quality over quantity, three great press release for you, China uh, resources, and we got some good sovereign debt news out of Europe. So everything is looking good today. Cross your fingers. Let's not get too high on that news, but uh, it's nice to be ending off the week that way. If you look for more great quality companies to watch this on Globe Investor, then look below me or to the left of me, depending on the page you're on, to see the resource companies we've covered. Otherwise, get, your front, get, your, get yourself to the front page of Agoracom. If you're not already there, watch the show. Take a look at the best headlines on my right and get into our marketplace to discover your next great small cap stock. That's a wrap. Have a great weekend. See you Monday.